Nate Sanders, good to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. I'll be appraising your pieces today. Okay. Your celebrity memorabilia. The process of, of appraising celebrity memorabilia usually is the higher value has to do with it um, being worn on, on TV or on, on screen. I'd like to do a big auction for Farrah depending if she has a lot of material or not. Welcome to my... Uh... This is your... <laughs> my... This is as big as an apartment. <laughs> this is great. Wow, it's huge. Wow. Well, I used to have a big house but the earthquake god decided I should move. Everything like of me just came tumbling down around me. That's the uh, swimsuit from the poster. That's, that's a fantastic piece. I mean, a piece like this could be worth a few hundred thousand. It's one of the most significant pieces of, of pop memorabilia that there is. Some of the most sought after pieces of Hollywood memorabilia would be John Travolta's white suit from Saturday Night Fever. Judy Garland's ruby slippers, and of course, Farrah Fawcett's swimsuit from the poster. John Travolta's white suit from Saturday Night Fever went for a few, few hundred thousand dollars. It was actually in that movie. It was in Saturday Night Fever? Uh, Remember the, the shot of him looking in the mirror doing stuff like that, and then my poster was there, and then his father came in and saw him looking oh, at the poster. Oh, right, right, okay. Anytime there's a movie about the 70s, they always want her picture, her poster up as, because it defined a period of America culture. Who wants to be a millionaire called? Mm -hmm. And they want to use the red bathing suit poster as a trivia question. What year and how many copies it sold? And what, it the can they get it straight? Ever? They always say it's 12. I know, they say eight, we tell them 12. Sometimes they say 12, sometimes they... The fact checker called, yeah. tell them 12. The famous poster of Farrah Fawcett, the shoot, I was there. We were ready to play tennis and I just kept saying, come on Farrah, let's go, let's go play tennis. What Farrah did, she sat back like this she made no big deal about it. You know, her hair wasn't done. She had no makeup. She kind of went like this. She kind of went like that, like this. She took a, she made a little smile. She went on, she played tennis, great tennis. Bingo, slam dunk, next case. The most famous poster ever sold. Yeah, the um, um, Smithsonian asked me for it. Right. Well, so. they, want it, they want it for free, so, you know. <laughs> you know, it's up to you if you want to give it to them for free. They, they, yeah. I think, I think most people would pay more than they pay. Yeah, well, they're not paying, right? I know, they're not paying. <laughs> well, that's that's the point. point. That's yeah, point. Yeah. In the 70s, we didn't have the internet. So when you're a young man back then, if you couldn't find your father's Playboys, and trust me, I couldn't find my father's, um, all you had was National Geographic, unless you had the Farrah Fawcett poster. Warhol's expensive and keeps getting more expensive. Andy was shy, and I'm shy, so we'd usually be sitting next to each other, and he would start doing some little doodling on linen napkins. The feature that he chose on me to focus on were the eyes. So on right. a napkin he drew FF eyes and on Ryan he focused on his mouth. So he drew RO lips. Warhols are worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. How many did he make of these? Uh, two. Two, wow. Well he made probably three. Where? Well I don't know. I, I have two. I have one in my place. Uh, oh really? But it would be stupid to have two. <laughs> This is more representative of my art. Do you know what it is? No, I don't even know what it is. <laughs> okay, it's gluteus maxim in motion. Oh, okay, now I see, okay. Who's, who's gluteus is this? That'd be mine. Oh. Yeah. Okay. If I had thought that I was a great artist, I'm sure that I would have said, I'm an artist, I'm gonna paint, I'm gonna sculpt, and it's so good that nothing is gonna get in my way. And I don't think that I've ever felt that about my art, about my looks, about my acting. Emmy Award for Small Sacrifices. I mean, Where nomination. Were <laughs> you were Us Magazine's 1978 Female Personality of the Year. I don't even really know what I've been nominated for. No? N not specifically. You know, oh, I like read it so many times, and then they say that I won, and I go, I did? I don't, I don't think so. So now they have me winning, so you know, it's like, okay. Good, good. Oh, Strange Letters. Yeah, what's in the Strange Letters? This guy's written one, two, three, four, five, six. Dear Farah, you know how I like you. We make a good couple. Do you remember one time you came to my house in a racing car? Okie dokie. <laughs> <laughs> The FBI were asking me questions. I was going, I can't remember when I got married or when I got divorced. I think uh, I got married, didn't, uh, wait, 
76? What does your divorce paper sell for on eBay? The divorce paper started at 5000 Are you serious? I've had Judy Garland's divorce. They only went for, I believe, 800 or 1600 And, you know, Judy's very, you know, sought out Maybe for because I was only married once. <laughs> Oh, okay, that's true. That's yeah, when you get married a lot of times, there are a lot of them out there who sell things.